Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tamal once again on behalf of Literoma. I welcome you all in a very special episode of our YouTube channel. And this is going to be an author talk show. And as you know, that all author talk shows are special, but this is extra special because this time we have authors from around the globe, uh, the selected authors rather, whose books are being featured in the ongoing Kolkata Book Fair. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it right in the ongoing Kolkata Book Fair, the 46th Kolkata Book Fair, which is happening in Kolkata. Uh, and it is going to go on till 12th of February. Uh, the books uh, of these authors are there in stall number 496B. So welcome, Jaya ma'am. Welcome, Ravi sir, two of the authors who have joined this particular panel. And congratulations, first of all, for being a part of the Kolkata Book Fair. To begin with, I like to ask Jaya ma'am about her introduction and of course the introduction of her books. Uh, over to you ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, I am Jaya Pillai. Uh, I'm a teacher by profession and a writer by passion. I stay in Kolkata and uh, I've always loved uh, you know, writing, I've been writing from a very early age, though I never really got into uh, writing on a public platform. Uh, it was sometime in 2017, I was recuperating from an illness. So I was at home for four months and that's when I, uh, you know, started writing basically to, uh, you know, uh, pass the time. And then I joined a few literary platforms and that's how my writing actually took off. So I have been publishing poems and stories in various uh, writing platforms. I've taken part in a lot of literary contests. Uh, my books are, my, uh, there are some write, uh, writings uh, published in different anthologies, uh, digital magazines. And uh, last year I was awarded the Orange Flower Award for humorous writing by the Orange Flower, by the website called Women's Web. And um, uh, writing is really a passion with me. So sometime last year during the pandemic, I, uh, we had this uh, you know, 25 day challenge where you had to write something every day about the pandemic year. So that's how my book, Afternoons and More, really took off. And uh, this book is essentially a collection of uh, you know, uh, uh, basically reflections that came up during the uh, pandemic. Uh, I had some poems because I love writing poetry also. I have, you know, during the pandemic, most of us started, you know, cooking in the kitchen. So one of the things that I did was, you know, trying out age old recipes that have come down, you know, the generations, their mummy secrets recipes. So I had this eagerness to try them out and, you know, see how they taste. So all those little recipes I have put into this book with some uh, anecdotes related to those recipes. And of course, I've had some reflections as well and some very humorous incidents that happened because, you know, the pandemic was a very serious year. But there were these little, you know, funny little things that kept happening, the idiosyncrasies of human nature, you know, during the uh, pandemic. So even those have been put into this book. So it's a collection of all these things together. It is not an anthology in the conventional sense, but it's a mixed bunch because I think different things appeal to different people. So this is a book that should appeal to different, all kinds of people, people who love cooking, people who love poetry, people who love humorous writing. So everything has been packed into this. So I think this is a little slice of my heart that is here with, uh, you know, and it's put up uh, at um, uh, the uh, Kolkata Book Fair at the stall organized by Literama. And I'm so grateful to Literama. You know, you all are doing a fantastic job, you know, giving writers such an opportunity because it's not easy to be heard or read or seen. So I think this is a huge contribution that is being uh, made by Literama for giving these unknown writers like myself a platform to be seen and heard. So thank you very much, uh, Literama, for this. Thank you so much. Pleasure is all ours, ma'am. So basically, it's really very interesting when you, it, it, humor and cooking, both are two different categories. And when you have to cook humor, that becomes perhaps more difficult. So that's, that's excellent. That's, that I'm really looking forward to it. And definitely not just in afternoon. It's a humble request to all the listeners who, are, who will be listening to our content. 
please not just in the afternoon enjoy the book in afternoon in the evening and in the night and in the morning as well throughout the day uh, thank you so much ma'am i'll come back to you but before that i'll just go to our uh, other author who is there uh, with us in this panel mr ravi valluri uh sir uh hello i i uh, i guess you are able to hear me yeah i'm able to hear you yeah so i'll be asking the same question to you as well sir uh why don't you introduce your work and of course to you, know, you as well to our uh, readers who will sure. be coming to the kolkata book fair and all the listeners of this particular youtube channel over to you sir uh thank you thank you litroma for this uh, platform i think it's a great job you people have done uh, bringing us all together um i had uh, superannuated from the indian railway traffic service uh, this december 2022 mm, i was the principal chief commercial manager southern railway and uh, i am also a faculty of art of living and uh, writing is uh, something very close to me in fact my journey began when i was in school delhi st xavier school i used to attend number of music theater workshops at delhi then at national school of drama so that's how it began and um, um, i was tutored by eminent people like barry john paramveer then um, pankaj kapoor and at nsd great artists like nasiruddin shah om puri among others so that was the background but uh, writing was never the first love it was always theater and music i happened to learn indian classical hindustani music calcutta is kolkata rather is a place which is full of uh, culture and culture resonates i distinctly remember uh, uh, get together we had just before the pandemic one of our batchmate she is the vice president of itc so um, i remember visiting the itc music academy and that was a wonderful uh, so one knows uh, how uh, the culture of uh, kolkata and the history it's steeped into so many things and uh, renaisa whatever so it comes from with a very strong background so it's a very proud moment to showcase my books at uh, this place which i would rate as both politically culturally uh, every flavor of the rainbow is in kolkata now my books uh, i'm lucky that three of my books are there the first one is uh, heartbreak at uh, coffee shop this is uh, a collection of uh, short stories drabbles and plays and this i had written when i was posted at uh, prayagraj earlier known as alahabad uh, it has uh, uh, we had uh, since i am in railways uh, at that time we had transported you know uh, migrant labor and that was a huge exercise almost 60 to 70 lakh migrant labor were transported all over india and they had passed they had to pass through north central railway so their experiences then uh, there's a spin off on mythological tales zen stories then writing drabbles within 100 words that was a big challenge the second book is art of war to art of living this is the story of a chinese tech uh, she is a highly talented uh, lady um who develops an app but uh, which is a very strong powerful app but it is uh, taken over by the government and uh, she loses everything and like juan zhang this lady comes from a very humble background and rose to dizzy heights at that time uh, she followed the path of juan zhang who came to india 1400 years back and uh, she came in search of uh, he came in search of buddhism and true buddhist texts she came to overcome her lack so this story 
is uh, her story. This was my first uh, full-length novel. And the third book is A Story of Faith and Miracles. This was recently launched. It's uh, my own account. It's a true account and autobiography. Uh, my various experiences with uh, spiritual masters, mystics, and uh, the problems I had gone through. As a child, I suffered immensely from a problem called malabsorption, where one couldn't have anything to eat. Everything was thrown out. And later in life, I became an alcoholic uh, almost for 16, 17 years. Uh, I was uh, covered under alcoholism. So how I came out of alcoholism to the Art of Living Foundation, the breathing technique of Sudarshan Kriya, and the blessings of Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, so much so that I, I am now a faculty of Art of Living. So this story, a story of faith and miracles is steeped in that. And how my mother, my wife, uh, how, how they had all gone through the problem and how they helped me to come out. So these are the three books which are at Literoma stall. I thank Literoma once again, and uh, it's wonderful to be there. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, very interesting topics that you have talked about. Of course, it, it covers from faith and miracle, and then it's art of war to art of living. So very interesting titles as well. And I think this is going to inspire a lot of people uh, to know about the stories. Uh, thank you so much for uh, highlighting the contents. Now, I'll just digress a bit. Uh, so I'll be uh, coming up with the same question to both of you. And there is a perception that nowadays readers are not that inclined uh, to reading books. So th there is a perception which is there. And <clears throat> there is a, a lot of people, I, I think perhaps one of the most recorded uh, people gathering happens in this Kolkata Book Fair. So it's a good opportunity as authors to both of you to pass on a message which we can also take to the larger audience. Uh, so you, both of you being published authors, why don't you uh, give some message to these potential readers? So maybe I'll start with uh, Ma'am first, and then I'll come back with the same question with uh, to, to Ravi, uh, to, to Ravi sir. Sorry. Uh, over to you, Ma'am. Uh, why don't you uh, give a message? Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, before I respond to your question, I just want to tell Ravi sir one thing, that even I'm an Art of Living person. Uh, I'm not oh, a faculty <laughs> member of the Art of Living, but we've been, my family and I have been ardent um, followers of the Art of Living for the last 10, 15 years. So oh, we yeah. practice the tradition Kriya and, you know, we visit the ashram. So it was so wonderful to, you know, uh -huh. hear that you're an Art of Living person. It's a real definite connect here. No, it's, a, it's a small world. It's just really a small world. <laughs> it's a small world. Absolutely. Right. Uh, coming to the question that was asked about people not reading. Uh, see, I'm a teacher. I'm an English teacher. <clears throat> and um, as, a, as an English teacher, I always have, have to, and I keep doing this, motivating children to read. Because reading is the only way you build your language skills. Uh, you know, we used to have this idea that children don't read. But you know what I feel? People read things that interest them. So uh, they may not be interested. Like earlier, you know, I used to give a list of books of Dickens and all those to my children. And I used to ask them to read. Now, you know, today's generation, if you give them that black and white book to read and ask them to read, they're probably not going to read it. So they need things, but they do read a lot. I find when I'm interacting with students, they know so much which when I don't know. I've never been heard of stuff like that. So I re realized that they read, they do read. It's not that people don't read, they do read, but they read things that interest them. So one place like a book fair provides a plethora of literature. So everybody can get drawn to the, it because they can go and look for things that interest them and pick them up and read them. And uh, a lot of people still do say that they actually like to read a book rather than the soft copy because, you know, the soft copy you read, your eyes start hurting and then, you know, you don't feel like sitting with a device anymore. But a book is a comfortable thing, comfortable thing. So, yes, I don't really believe that people don't read. They do read. They read what they like. Yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thanks for sharing your thought. I'll go to Ravi, sir, with the same question, sir. Uh, 
I endorse what uh, Jay Shri Ji has said. People are very much interested in reading. Of course, they are uh, competition, say through audio books or Kindle, etc. But uh, that is uh, not to say that people are not interested in reading. And uh, if you come across a good book, certainly people read. And now, after COVID has subsided in the country, uh, book fairs have opened, book stalls have opened. So people are getting back to the reading more. Yes, there was a pause, but that uh, didn't mean that people were not reading. Uh, more importantly, uh, this was a phase, I think, uh, last two, three years, that several platforms had come up uh, where people could contribute. Uh, like this Penmancy, I think it is based perhaps in Bombay, uh, then Literoma, or uh, there's the Story Mirror, then several blogging sites like Read C Prompts, then WordPress. This was a phase where people started writing. I, I think uh, writing increased phenomenally at this period of time. Anthologies were compiled and uh, technology played a big role, like uh, you're doing the Zoom conference. So uh, uh, in the, while the flip side was, uh, we didn't have uh, the normal book shows or book fairs, but uh, technology during this period of uh, COVID, had uh, invaded our lives and connected people, not only within the country, but internationally. So uh, the scope had widened in, uh, in a very big way. Uh, I recall two years back, uh, Gurudev Shishi Ravishankar had unveiled one of my books. Uh, that was through a Zoom conference. And uh, initial first few books he had unveiled at Bangalore Ashram uh, during the Navratri Puja. So um, uh, it's not that uh, reading, the habit of reading has gone down. Uh, it's very much there. And uh, if it, it had taken a beating, it would have been for a very short while. Um, not only English literature, I mean, uh, it's uh, regional languages. Uh, uh, they have their own flavor and uh, people have been writing and reading. And uh, now in Kolkata, with this book fair, I'm sure, uh, people will come in large numbers. Recently, there was a book fair in Chennai and uh, Delhi also would be having their book fair. So it had taken a beating, this uh, book fairs as such, but uh, through technology, people were interacting. Very true, sir. So thank you so much for your messages. Thank you to both of you. And just to reiterate once again, uh, you had heard about the authors, you had heard about their books, and the books are available in stall number 496B in the ongoing Kolkata Book Fair, which is going to happen till 12th of Feb. So in case you have not visited uh, the book fair and our stall, please do that. And of course, do make sure that you are picking up the books written by these authors, and the lovely content which they talked about. Uh, don't uh, miss the opportunity to read the titles. Thank you once again to both the authors for the panel. Uh, and with that, uh, I'll be closing this, this particular segment. Thanks to both of you. <laughs>